Hello, I'm Sir Dev. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sweat mechanic like this. This is using an extension to work, by the way. So, as you can see, it works fine. So, now let's actually show you the extension itself. It's basically just um, one event, but with a, like, a lot of ore statements and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so now we're actually going to need to make it. So, yeah. So, I got uh, this tutorial scene and this uh, extension tutorial. Um, to create an extension, all you really gotta do is just click add, like that, and you just gotta rename it. And um, yeah, I've also done some stuff in here too. To get <clears throat> the PR image and stuff like that. Um, so now let's actually add the condition itself. To do that, you wanna click add a new function, and then add, con and then add a conditional uh, condition. I'm calling swipe. Okay. Now what we need is, we need, um, wait, why is that? Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> that's using the tutorial one, because I, yeah, okay, that's kind of funny. Because I was testing it, I was trying to see if I could redo it earlier to see how it would play out. Um, okay, this is my second try, because I made a mistake earlier. <laughs> um, so basically what you want to do is, um, do, uh, swipe, detection... And then you would put that basically like that. And then you can see it's put that anyway. Um, so now what we're going to do is do a uh, param to one. And then power one two. And then this going to be direction and alignment. Okay, so then we're going to go to the parameters, and then we're going to add two. First one is going to be called direction, the second one is going to be called length. And then we're going to get, for the label of length, what we want is to say length, and then make that a number. For direction, we're going to make that a string from list, and then we're going to just say for direction by here in label. And then I'm going to add four options. Then we do up, down, left, and right. Okay. <clears throat> now we need. Now we need to add a new event, and then we're gonna add the condition of mouse pressed like this. Then we're gonna add a sub event with a trigger once condition. And then we're going to do add action function is what we're going to search. And then we're going to do set condition return false. And then we're going to add another action. Other actions, uh, variable, scene variable, value of scene. Then we're going to call this the, so then we're going to call the variable underscore, well, whatever this is, underscore, underscore, I'm going to call it. Oh, I'm going to call it underscore. Uh, underscore underscore and then we want to do the name of the um name of the what do you call it thing i don't know what to call it um let's just, let's just call it swipe I, I don't name of the extension i meant and then um something like this is and then you want to put a dot and then the actual variable you want i guess like this and then we're going to set to and then mouse X like this. Um, you should probably do it like... Um, let me just write it. So that and then... So this is what you should probably do. Okay, now we're going to do that for the Y. And now actually time to make the swap detection. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an or statement. We're gonna get an and statement. And then an or statement in that. And then you want two and statements in that one. By statements, I mean events. And then uh, when we're gonna go to here, we're gonna go to here. And you're going to get 
a number to compare two numbers. I'm just gonna get that out ready for myself. Okay, great. Um, okay, because that's the mistake I made the last time I did not prepare this and it kind of backfired it, I guess. Actually, no, I could do this uh, right now, actually. Uh, let's actually do these events right now. Um. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to do Last Dam. By here is going to be, I mean, it's going to be distance between two positions. And then... Let's see, clear this out. Mouse X. No, mouse Y, I should say. And then layer of that, and then zero. Like that. Then you want to get the variable name. And to get the variable name, what you're going to do, you're going to go over here. And then you just fill this out like that. I did the wrong one. Actually, this is wrong as well. Wait a minute. I don't know if I see it. Yeah, good. What I'm going to do is just go to here. Distance. Between two positions. And then mouse. And then variable. And then that. This is meant to be viable instead. Like so. Okay. And then this is going to be less than function. And then the function is going to be called length. Like that. Then what we're going to do is do this. And then do that as well. And this is going to be for x. This is actually no. This it needs to be this definitely, and this one needs to be that. Okay. Then this needs to be for x. Then like so. That looks about correct. Okay. Now for these two um. Uh, event, what we need to do, well, sub event, uh, or sub conditions, I should say. What we need to do is, uh, what you want to do is, you want to do this. You want to do a uh, uh, string, search string, compare two strings. And you want to search for, fu uh, then you want to look for function, direction, if it equals to up. The other one is going to have equal to down. Then, Search for cursor, y cursor, position, less than, scene start, do I have a save? Yes, I do, like that, and then just fill these in. Then this one is going to be greater than, also you want to put um, something like this in too. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the right way around, but, um, okay, let's hope it is. Then what you want to do is you want to copy this, and then you want to paste it, and then just rename stuff to left, right them to, then you want this to be cursor x with that being x like that, or like this. Okay, now what we want to do is make this one greater and this one less than. I'm just going to switch them out like that. And I think we're now done. It looks like it. Now let's try. I've already got this all set up like this, so I'll just test it very quickly. And as you can see, that works. So now I'm going to show you how the actual... Uh, condition looks like in action I guess so what you want to do is you want to do other conditions S swipe system tutorial is why I named mine you want to do that and then 32 
And then you want to just copy and paste it, I guess. And do down. Left. Right. And then do this angle uh, stuff or something to show it. And then... You can see it works. Like so. Cool. Okay. I hope that this helps with um, trap detection if you ever need to. Um, if you also want to make it released in SCED, all you really got to do is just um, modify the code a little bit. In fact, I could show you. This is how you would modify the code. That's what you're going to get. This bit here. Um, and then you need to just drag this out like I'm just gonna do that and then just do that. Then what you wanna do is just drag this in here, I believe. Then that should do that. And it works, okay. Yeah, that's how you do key, uh, the um, mouse release as well, then. So, yeah. Okay. What you could also do is make a types thing. Where it chooses what type of version it'll have. Um, for this, it would just be something like this. He no mouse released mouse class. I think I want them to be right away. Like that. Okay. And then uh type. Okay. And then we'll just have add a condition by here. Compare two strings. Um, functions that type equal key press, and then we're gonna make another one like this, something like that. Then we're just gonna need to copy an event in do that and then we're just gonna change and then we should put that there like this key I'm just gonna rename this to key release since scared okay and that's basically that should now also work as well let's test Type mouse press. Um, okay. That does not work. <laughs> I guess it should have made sure that I actually spelled it right. Okay. Oh, I spelled, yeah, I did spell it wrong. <laughs> oh, I see why I spelled it wrong there, okay. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I'm going to do key release, That's better. I mean, mouse release. I don't know why I'm getting them mixed up a lot. Okay. Um, and as you can see, that works fine. You could also add a default um, one. Like, if it's none, then but like something like this as well. You do an all statement, but you don't need to do that. There's no point doing that, in my opinion. Um, I'm just gonna now make this mouse release to actually test if that one works, and then I'll actually need to add it to the um, uh, you know, the power uh, meta thing to it, and then yeah, as you see, that works perfectly. Okay, and now I'm just gonna get this back to default to the default well my favorite one at least which is mouse press because it just feels nicer like that in my opinion um okay and then i'm just gonna make this like that now 
Okay, so now we go to here, type, and then underscore underscore power three. Okay, and then that's that. Um, so as you can see by here, it says it by here too. Okay, cool. Did I spell press right? I think I did. Okay, good. Anyway, good. Um, so this is been how to um how to make a uh, how to make a swipe system mechanic thing, a swipe system I'm gonna call it. Um, hope you uh, found the video useful. Uh, goodbye.